Hey guys, welcome back. This is Blue Forest. So I just wanted to do a quick sort of state of the game update because we have had a couple of major bug fixes just over the past 24 hours or so. There have been major fixes to the gauntlet issue as well as the mastery core issue. I did throw up a community post about the gauntlet issue, but I thought I would mention it in a video just to make you all aware. And so with the gauntlets, as you probably know, there's five or six of them that are unlocked with achievements, right? You get the Mirage Gauntlet first when you reach level 20 and you get the Grimlock Gauntlet when you complete a thousand fights. There were a lot of players that were not getting access to them, especially day one players and some other players. But as of yesterday, that issue has been resolved. And so if you were not seeing the, gauntlet, the gauntlets in your special missions, you can now do so. Just go into your achievements, unlock these tickets, and if you refresh the game, you will see them. I just unlocked a couple more, and I highly recommend you do them. The Grimlock Gauntlet in particular is pretty amazing. You get a few million bot chips. I just started the Ramjet Gauntlet. That one's pretty good as well. And so again, if you were not accessing the gauntlets before, you can now do so. But I also wanted to mention the Mastery Core issue, which had been partially fixed, but is now fully fixed. So if you had bought cores more than about a week ago, they weren't working, right? You would go to your Masteries and you couldn't unlock them because it would say that you didn't have the cores. They partially fixed it, meaning that you could unlock Masteries, but you had to buy new cores, meaning that the old cores you bought were basically just wasted Energon. However, any of those older cores that you bought more than roughly a week ago are now working and I did test it. I had bought three, I used one today and it did work. So if I wanted to, I have two cores left that I had bought a while ago. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and unlock rank three of courage right now. So that's been resolved as well. Any cores that you bought more than about a week ago will now work. So that will not be wasted energy on and that's a very good thing. So these are a couple of major bug fixes. That's very promising. It does mean that Netflix is fixing some things. They are at least working on things in the game. The downside is that they're not communicating, right? I don't think they provide any sort of dedicated support for their games. We don't have any sort of forums or Discord server. It'd be great if we did, but I don't think that's going to happen, which means that we simply have to spread the word ourselves and figure this stuff out on our own. I mean, Netflix could just send us messages in game, you know, just throw a message up to everybody, to our inbox and say, hey, we fixed this, but they're not doing that either, which means that we have to help each other out. And so what I might do is every time there are major bug fixes, I might just throw up a video to help you guys become aware. These announcements are being made by players in the main Discord servers we have. So if you're not on there, you might want to join those servers. But regardless, I'm going to do what I can to help everyone out. I do think it would be a good idea if Skies did as well. So I might message him and suggest that he make these announcements because he has the widest reach in the game. But regardless, I'm going to do my part to make you guys aware when any major issues are resolved. And so I finally just wanted to mention, please do send in support tickets to Netflix if you see a bug. I know it's annoying, it might seem useless, but like I said, they are fixing some things and frankly, it's all we can do, right? We either make Netflix aware of these issues or we just complain about everything. And if all we're gonna do is complain, nothing's going to get fixed. So if you see a bug, please do let Netflix know. We just have to hope that it helps given the fact that they're not letting us know when issues are getting resolved. And if we don't make them aware, then they won't know and issues won't get fixed. And so I'll leave it there for now, guys. I hope you're doing well and we'll be in touch again soon. Take care.